Turbine blades are very similar to um, compressor blades in that the blade needs to have a constant angle of attack along the, the full length of it. So as the blade rotates, you know, the velocity out at the tip is going to be a lot larger than the velocity at the at the root. So consequently, uh, the blade angle uh, uh, will, will change from root to tip. And the angle between the cord length of the blade and the and the uh, I suppose the axis of the engine uh, we call that the angle uh, of incidence if it was if it was the aircraft but in this case we call it the stagger angle okay so <clears throat> just just to remember that um, the blade has a, a twist in it from root to tip uh, just to make sure that we have a constant angle of attack along the length of the blade. Uh, the blades, uh, again, similar to compressor blades, they are attached using either the fir tree method or, um, you know, there might be, um, it's called here the laval bull brute, but uh, we would call that um, a, do a dovetail type connection. But most uh, blades would be connected using uh, the fir tree method. Again, just like uh, compressor blades, we can have shrouds, and the purpose of the shroud is to stop uh, blade tip vortices. So, you know, we could get a high pressure here, one side of the blade, uh, a low pressure here, and the air we want to go from high pressure to low pressure, creating uh, vortices and reducing the efficiency of the blade. But that can be reduced by putting the shrouds, because if we have the shrouds, then the air can't get past the shroud. Okay. Again, we saw that when we looked at uh, compressors. Now, sometimes the blades have a have a knife edge seal. So on the top of the shroud, uh, we have this little knife edge, uh, sharp edge, and the purpose of that is, you know, if if this is our um, if this is our turbine. So these are the nozzle guide vanes, and these are the rotor vanes. Nozzle guide vane, rotor vane. You know the air will come through, and uh, will go through the blades, and it's going to cause the blades to rotate. However, up at the tip here, you know there is a gap, and you know some of the air might just try to go around the blade uh, at that point. So the engine is lined with this honeycomb shroud, and if we affix a knife edge seal on the top of the blades well that knife edge is going to cut into this shroud and that's going to stop the air from bypassing you know it's the air is not going to be able to get around the blade you know it's it's a very tight seal so that increases the uh, efficiency of the engine so those are the knife edge seals <clears throat> 